walking over to the feed lot to sort some cows. Tag cows and um lot cows. Come and sort cows over here. There's a bunch of cows just out tags in and tags in there for What have you eaten? Didn't really have time to stop for lunch, but I grabbed some cold fried chicken. We're gonna eat and work at the same time. Just so we can have an extra pen to sort into, we're gonna clear this pen out and crowd all these up in the pen next to it. been a few days since we fixed that rail on this manger and it sure has been nice to have these calves stay in here. Out. What we've got here is kind of a hodgepodge, mixed match pen of a little bit of everything. We've got cows that have already been worked that don't need to be in here, cows that are not worked that do need work, calves that have just crawled in here through the manger. So right now we're just doing yard cleanup. We're going to go through this bunch and straighten them out and organize them. Turbine organization. Goats come in with the cows. <laughs> the goat pen's way over there, and they dogs the dogs chased them over here. Now that we've got these cattle out of their pen, we're going to put them up in the end of this long alleyway. Then Riley's going to bring them to me one or two at a time, and they'll swing different gates at different times and sort them into what pens they need to go to. Get them all organized up. I'm going to use this tie rope to tie the camera up on the fence and do a time lapse of the sort in here. Bet you haven't ever used one of your tie, tie ropes for that, huh? Nope. <laughs> so the way that we're going to do this, Riley's going to sort out the cattle, bring them down the alleyway. Rance is on one gate into a pen, I'm on another gate, and some cattle can go straight down into a third pen. So we can sort them into three different groups. Thank you. 
up these others from Brandon. Mm -hmm. Just leave them left up for a minute while I get the feed truck going. Once I fill that manger with feed and the other cows go to it, then let these down the lane so they can go and find the feed in the box over there. Yeah, that way they'll know they can eat over there. Lock them in the Brandon pen and fix the alleyway, but don't let them down here yet. Okay. So, Dad, do we open the gate so they can all go down there? Uh, Alright, so we're going to put these cows down in the end of here in our braining pen while my dad mixes a load of feed. Hey. Oh, pickle. Bowls, lazy bowls. <laughs> the gate doesn't. That is one of our bottle calves that we put in here. Somebody left the goat pen gate open again. All right, so we're about to leave to hot water to Skinner. Me. And Ryler are going. It's cold today, so we all got our hot chocolate. Somebody had to be cameraman, so Rant is holding the hot chocolate. We're just pulling out. Riley's gonna tell us where we're going. So we're going to Skinner. We checked it the other day and it had a little bit of water in the trough, but the tank was completely empty. So we gotta take this load there right now. We're gonna have to pull up a little bit. All right, we're gonna have to pull up a little bit. Well, we couldn't quite get backed up a good enough, so now we're gonna have to do a little more, pull up a little bit. Cause our hose isn't that long. Now we'll see if it's good. Put that up in there, and then turn the valve. Put the end of that in there, and then oh. remove the water mm. down in the trough over there. Not quite empty. Got a little bit of ice in it. Really, really thin ice. 
see if it can hold me. Oh, that didn't work out. Should probably crack it. And over here we usually put salt in the tires that have a little bit salt on the bottom. And then last is in these. A couple of months ago we made a video about whenever we came here and then it was whenever we, we swam in this tank. But now if we try to do it, it'll be a little cold. We have a contest. Let's see who can find more shells. Hey. Not yet. Jump in there and break the ice. Ryler's gonna jump in, belly flop, and break the ice. It's a little bit. Cold. All right, let's see who can find more shells. I'm gonna beat them, don't worry. They're gonna be looking where my dad and Rio already found shells. I'm going where they haven't looked. See how many we can find. I found a bunch of wire. Well, Ramp said he found one. Let's go see if he actually did. He might just be lying. I don't know. Ramp, how'd you how'd you find one? Nice eyes. You know what that was? This? Uh, your eyes. A cow butt. <laughs> Ramp's found one. It's the first one of the day. He's winning the contest. Let's see if we can find some more. We just found a land marker. Uh, now let's find something else besides the land marker. Looky looky here. Oh, I found one. No, we're tied. I don't care about the cow, but let's keep looking. I might have found another one. I found two! Look at this. One right here. Right here, there's another one. I'm at four. Let's go. I'm at four. Rance is at two. He's a zero. I'm gonna find some more. Ryler found one. His first one. So I won the competition. I'm at four. Rance is at two. Ryler is at one. Let's see if. Our water truck is empty. Still unloading. 
So Rance got three. Rather got one. I got four. I still have the same. Everything loaded up. I gotta leave, and Ryler's still walking around trying to find more shells. Since you have to uh, hey, one, four, five big ones, three small ones. Found two big ones, one small. Ryler found one small. So I won. Rats got second. Ryler. We just got loaded up and now we're leaving. Come down up here and I'll drive back to the house. place to start with a load.
pretty good. on this dirt and then 50 on the asphalt. Give us some gas, give us some gas. Uh, oh, you're going to the wrong place. There you go. You're supposed to be going from four to five. anniversary so as a treat I'm letting Laura get out of the kitchen get away from her desk and all her paperwork I'm letting her drive my really nice truck usually you don't want to let a girl drive your truck but I'll let this girl drive my truck where are we going
going like 50 miles an hour. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've arrived at the Tempe Ute Water Hall. We apologize for the turbulence. Hope you'll ride again with us soon. Let's go unload some water. Come on. The door handle's inside. Right. Push down on the bottom one. needs to learn how to haul the water. Male, female, you got this, babe. That one ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Open the lid to your tank. This tank. Yeah, you'll see why in a second. Now you see why. <laughs> it's not that cold. I mean, it's kind of cold, but it's probably it's probably thirty-five degrees. But it's kind of yeah, it's kind of a pain. You kind of push it to one side, smash that dog ear over, then push it to the other. It's, it's kind of hard. Okay. Oh, it's you not a break and push it this way and get it. And then pull it, pull it this way. Okay. Smash that one down. My kids usually do. Yeah. Now, the big yellow new. Sorry, this is a new system. I yeah. just put that big three inch valve on there. Crank it open. Here's the water flow. unload our molasses while this is unloading. So what do you have to say about your 18 years being married to the most wonderful man that you could get your hands on? That's the That's main awesome. thing I've noticed. Man, it goes by fast. Yeah. All right, you hold this. I'll do the work. Do you really think it's only 35? I think the cows like this stuff.
get them down the hill. Those other black ones roll. These things ain't going to roll. Yeah. You know, this stuff can come out, too, if it's upside down. Yeah. That happened to Riley and I. <laughs> they went out of the trailer. Two tubs completely came out. Okay. It'll roll. Where's Reggie? I know. <laughs> That's not as fun without little ridgy bug. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's not cold at all. We have a couple trailer loads of these. back for another load but we're not going to be able to ditch the kids on this go round and y'all are definitely going to be able to see how stress and distractions can affect one's driving poor mama you saw how she really did pretty good earlier with all these kids in the cab i think she's going to struggle a little
do the stuff. <laughs> Earlier in the day, when you focused on doing it correctly, it worked. Right now, you're just kind of slamming that thing every which way, RPMs all over the map. This is one of those times when we see how stubborn you are. Yeah. We're like, all of a sudden the truck's not working. See how stubborn all of a sudden are. something's wrong with the truck. Stop. It's mental. In case you can't all tell what just happened, my YouTube channel got canceled and I got assigned to be a truck driver the rest of the way to the water hall and mama gets to be a mama. Okay, turn that valve on and start water flowing. around the edge.
thanks for spending December 13th, 2021 with Anchor Brand Ranch. Maybe we'll all still be together 18 years from now.